Hey everyone, it's Mr. Flying Pig here. I'm just going to show you a very easy and awesome trading method which anybody can do and there's absolutely no risk at all and you can make a you know in excess of 50k a day depending on how much time you want to spend doing this. But um, all it really is is buying uh, gold players between 550 coins and 750 coins uh, and selling them for at least a thousand coins uh, but between a thousand and fifteen hundred coins depending on the players that you get. Now basically all you, you do this by bidding um, for them on the open market. I'll show you how to search that. Basically what you do is you go to um, auction search. You can do this with BBVA and BPL and Serie A and any league you really want. What I'd recommend is doing it with the league you know. But uh, what you're trying to do is get the you know the good players um, and by that I mean players that either have some sort of uh, popularity within the game. Maybe they play for a good team or that kind of thing or they've got good pace or you know good stats in a specific area that kind of thing. So You'll, you'll know by the players that, um, you know, just by looking at them whether they're worth bidding on or not. But let's just do this with the Barclays Premier League. But like I say, you can do this with the uh, most leagues. So that's that's what we're searching. We're searching in only only really two formations. This works well with, I think, a four one two one two and four four two. But you can do this with other other formations. No problem. It's the same principle. And in fact, it's probably good, good to at least do it with two different formations. So, but I think four one two and two and four four two are the best formations to, to do this with. So those are the criteria that criteria that we're searching with. We hit search, and uh, we're only buying rare players. By the way, this is only rare. Certain players like Marin, um, I'm not going to bid on Mangan. I only bid on him because he's, you know, I can get him for 650. That's literally would be my limit on him. Friedel, definitely worth 700 coins on because you can sell him for a thousand coins. So that's a profit, of, you know, 250 or so after tax. Um, Sessignon, definitely he can sell for about 1400 coins. Um, Crouchy, not going to bother with. Lama I'll go up to 700, but that's literally it. I'll sell for a thousand. Hangelin definitely. He'll sell for you know 1,200 coins, so it's a nice profit. But basically, what you have to remember is not to exceed 800 coins on any of these players, because then you'll always be making a nice profit. Definitely bid on Cahill. He'll sell for 1,200 coins. No worries. And um, Sessignon. Somebody's put a bid on, but 750 is definitely worth going to. Berbatov definitely worth going to, like 800 for, because he can sell for 1200. I mean, what, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, it's 25 past seven GMT time. So, uh, you know, it's uh, sort of peak time for there being loads of players on the market, because you know, loads of people are opening packs, loads of people are online selling players and listing players. So it's a good time to do it. But equally, it's a good time to do it in the middle of the night as well, when there's nobody online or less people online. Because the BPL, you know, there'll be a lot less British people online and stuff like that, and Europeans in general. So you can, you know, there'll be less players on the market to bid on, but you can also pick up some good, you know, better bargains at that time with better players that will sell for a higher price. But, you know, you can just see what I'm doing. I'm just going along. It's really not that much effort because I'm just bidding on, you know, not random players. You can see the ones I'm missing out, missing them out for a reason. Uh, Giggsy, I'd go to 650 on, but that's it. Vermalion, I definitely won't get him for 800, but it's, why not put a bid on A? Eh? And then, um, yeah, and it's just a case of like going through and, and uh, you, you know, you can do this right up to the hour if you want and just go back and then check on the ones you've bought and that kind of thing. It's not really much effort. You'll lose some, you'll win some, and you'll list them and you'll make profit. So basically, yeah, I mean, uh, let's. Let's just um, stop there because basically you've, you've got the method now. Um, you, uh, it's just a case of bidding between, you know, 600 and, seven and 800 coins for players. Um, but only certain players will go to 800 on. It's just really a case of uh, having your limit once you know the market, know the players. Obviously, I know these players, how much they sell for. So players like Tarapt are really good because they can sell for like 1,400 coins because he's got five-star skills and good pace, good formation, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, Johnson's another really good player. 89 pace, you can sell him for 12, 1300 coins, not a problem. Friedel's the best cheap keeper, so, you know, always going to be in, in demand. But yeah, I'll, I'll stop there and I'll show you my watch list, which, I, you know, I've been doing this with 442 and 412 for a few minutes before this. I've already won a bunch of players. Um, don't worry about that one. That was just in a trade that I did earlier, so yeah, don't worry about that. Gigs, 650. Um, I'll put him on for 850. It's a small profit. Not really worth doing that often, though, but, you know, Distin is another player I've bought here. Bought him for 650. He'll definitely sell for nine, sorry, a uh, thousand. So that's a good, 
good few hundred coin profit there. But the point is, you're making at least, you know, two, three hundred coins each time, usually about 500 coins. And, um, you know, that mounts up, that mounts up. If you've got a trade pile of 40 things in it, another key thing is to keep your trade pile fully stocked all the time, because that way things will be selling a lot more frequently. And, um, you know, it's just a, it's like a conveyor belt. You'll sell maybe 15, 20 things an hour. And then you relist more things that you've got saved in your watch list. And then they sell. And that way you just got profit coming in all the time, all the time. And then um, another another thing is to um, basically make, sh make sure that you've, um, you know, listed them. If you're going to bed, like for 12 hours, make sure you list them for 12 you know, 12 hours as opposed to one hour because then they're more likely to sell. And when you come back to relist them and you're online for a few hours, then list them just by the hour. And they'll sell a lot more frequently. Shane Long definitely sell for a thousand coins. because He's got 88 pace. Somebody will buy him in that formation. There's a lot of people starting the game all the time who want these cheap players to just make a decent team with. So, you know, it's uh, that they always will be selling. Friedel 950. Put them on for a thousand. Buy it now. So even if it's even if they do go for this starting price, I'm always still making a profit. That's another key point, really. Um, Kolarov got for six fifty. Definitely sell for a thousand. So it's a good buy. Good good three to three fifty profit there. Tax is only a fifty coins on a thousand sale price. So you know, it's not very much. Hangerland. What I would do is just to entice people because I'm going to make a profit either way. I put it on for nine fifty with a buy it now twelve hundred. Dempsey, 1200 You know, just have a play around with these. If you want to sell them quicker and make a smaller profit but have a faster turnaround, then, you know, you could put Dempsey on for a 1,000 coins and it'll sell really quickly and then you can just, uh, you know, buy some more players, that kind of thing. So if you're starting out with only a few th a few thousand coins, that's probably a good thing to do because then you'll get more profit quicker. You can, you know, um, buy more players. Sometimes Sinclair will sell for 1200 but I'll just put them on for a 1,000 now. And, um... Yeah, so you can see what I'm doing. Basically, what I would do actually is uh, once I've listed all these things, I will, uh, you know, um, come back and show you what's sold within the hour. You can see it's half past seven now, so I'll come back at half eight and show you basically. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this guy, you know, he doesn't look good. He's got paces and great. But then look at his defending and heading stacks. They're absolutely beast. So somebody's really going to want him in their team, definitely. Um, and then, you know, I've got pages and pages of these now building up, which I've bit, bit on. So they're all, they've are all they all been gotten for cheap, and they're all in good formations. So it's profit. It's all about the profit. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's going to take me a while to just list these things here and fill up my trade pile of 10 things. But you can see what I'm doing. I'll just quickly show you one thing, actually. Like here, okay, so we've got active. You can go here to, to make sure you win more things. He's gone over my limit, so definitely do not bid more because you just the profit's not worth it if you're only making you know 100 coins or something like that it's just filling up your trade pile but you can go back and you can just get your maximum bid on like this in here definitely worth paying 700 for stuff like that tariffs again and it's like that way you just go back and ensure that you're winning more stuff for you know like in Zogby you can sell for like 1400 coins for million so yeah that's beyond that's beyond me so I'm removing that from my watch list and you know stuff like that Johnson's gone way higher. I don't know why somebody's bid that on him. That's just insane. We remove that from the watch list. And, um, you know, stuff like that. So it's like, then you can keep a good track of it and win more players. But, um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll pause the video here, guys, and I'll come back. At, um, I'll list these players, and I'll come back in an hour, and I'll show you what's sold. And that way, you know, you can see. Let me just get in my trade part, actually, see if anything's sold already. But that way, you'll be able to see what has actually, uh, you know, sold by, by this method. But, yeah, as you can see, we've got a couple of pages of stuff now. Uh, I'll send these back to my club actually and fill the fill them up with gold players with that using that method so you know you, you can you can see it better um, I'll do that now but I'll pause the video now and I'll come back in an hour hey guys it's been about an hour it's now uh, 8 38 and um, I've won a bunch more stuff in my watch list so I've got like you know stuff in there to uh, restock the trade pile when it's you know when stuff has been bought and it's, and it's been emptied. So let's go to the trade pile and see what's sold. As you can see, we've got at least a page of stuff that's sold. Berba sold for a start price, and then Berber sold for his buy it now, now price there. And also, again, for his buy it now, now price. I picked up a CSA cheap, which sold for 1500 Gigsy sold. A couple of Gigsy sold. So small profits on the Gigsy. It's probably not worth doing that often, to be honest with you. Arshavin, Hangelin sold. Uh, Xavi Garcia's.
couple of them are sold for a thousand. Would have picked them up for no more than seven fifty. Um, Friedel for a thousand. Oh Christ, we have sold a lot. We've got two pages. We've got a couple more Friedels. Um, three more Friedels. In fact, Jaggy Elkers twelve hundred. So each time we're making at least two to three hundred coins, but. As in the case of some players like CC and Exobia that you can pick up occasionally, you'll actually be making like 700 coins, which is pretty nice. Um, you know, all of these players, Distance is a good seller. Picked him up for 650 to 750, and he sells for 1,000 coins each time. Santon, Long, Lama, and then obviously what all you do now is relist them. Um, all the players that didn't sell, which in this case is not actually that many. So we probably made, hang on, if say, say we sold... Uh, 20 players there, which I think we just about did because I've got a trade part of 40. Um, we're making at least, say, say on average, we're making 300 coins on each one. That's 6k clear profit we've made just there in an, in an hour. But that's, um, you know, so, you know, and, and that's that's that really wasn't that much effort. And now all you do, I mean, to be honest with you, you, you can actually make a lot more than that because I just came back and checked after an hour. But if you add them, you know, add new stuff while stuff are selling, new stuff, stuff are selling all the time. Um, you know, replacing the players, then that way you can, uh, you know, make a make a, a lot of coins. And if you do this for a good couple of hours a day, you'll make loads of coins. And uh, you know, once you, once you get to know the market better, you can start pricing pl players a bit higher when you pick up some good bargains and that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I hope this uh, video was useful to you. As you can see, it definitely does work. Uh, even though pe play people can buy the players on the Buy It Now market like I did, there's still a, a, a lot of people that only really buy players on the Buy It Now market just because it's a lot easier and you know they don't waste time that kind of thing but um yeah if this video has helped you please give uh, give you know give it a thumbs up and uh comment in the comments box maybe if you tried it out let me know how it works for you and uh please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and thanks for watching guys take care